Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Siobhan Foster here, and we are going to talk about ways to save money. I love that. There's always great ways to save money. So thank you so much for bringing some great ideas for our residents. You're welcome. So today we're going to talk about member-directed cost savings. And when you say member-directed, you're, you're basically, you, know, you, you mean residents, right? I mean, what is, the, what is the term? It's the way residents can help reduce costs and, you know, perhaps lower their annual assessments. Oh, okay. All right, great. So as we were moving into the budget process for 2024, I thought I'd touch on just not just the budget schedule this morning, but to begin identifying ways residents can help reduce costs. Okay. So on the screen before you are GRF key dates of their 2024 budget process, and their overall process kicked off yesterday with review of 2023 departmental service levels. Mm -hmm. We got through about half of the departments yesterday, and the other half will be presenting tomorrow morning at 9.30 in the boardroom. Okay. And again, that's to take look, a look at this year's service levels as we prepare for next year's budget. Okay. Okay, and then, and then what ends up happening is they end up meeting all the way through September yes. to actually finalize the budget, right? So that it happens, is correct. it's an ongoing thing. Yes. Okay. And then the next schedule is thirds budget process, and it officially kicks off on Thursday, March 30th, when they take a look at landscape and maintenance 2023 service levels, and that meeting's Thursday, March 30th at 9.30 a.m. in the boardroom. Okay. And then follow a similar schedule as you saw on the prior slide. Mm-hmm. And then the United process kicks off on Wednesday, March 29th at 1.30 in the boardroom with, again, the review of the landscape and maintenance 2023 service okay. levels. Okay. So we're just getting everything started, and we encourage residents to participate if they're interested. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, they don't have to go to every one of them, but maybe if you went to the beginning and maybe pick something closer to when it's, you know, kind of finalized, that might give them. Because otherwise, that would be an awful lot to sit through. <laughs> it is, it is. But if someone's interested, yeah, they're yeah, welcome to. Yeah, if they want to do it. Exactly. Okay. And so as staff works to identify cost savings for the 2024 budget, we also want to begin identifying ways that our residents can help reduce costs okay. because it benefits everyone. So I'm going to take you through a few items this morning, and we'll continue to build this list as we go through the budget process. All right. Um, one way to reduce costs is for residents to opt out of paper mailings. There's a mandated November, we call it typically the budget mailing, and then an April spring mailing. And these cost about $7.50 per manor for printing and postage. So if 12,000 members were to opt out of the paper mailings, this would equate to $90,000 in annual savings. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, residents may ask how to opt out of these paper mailings. In accordance with the California Civil Code, sections 4040 and 4041, all members will receive a document via first-class mail, giving them the option to re receive notices via email. Okay. And this will be coming out this spring. And this is a fairly new law that we will be complying with. So that's why it has to be mailed by first class I mail. See. And, and is that being mailed by who? The uh, Village, village Management, management okay. Services, yes, in compliance right. with the new law. All right. Another cost savings option is to use Dwelling Live. Instead of calling the gates to clear a visitor into the village, which costs $1.60 per call, residents can use Dwelling Live and help eliminate the 225,000 calls for gate clearance annually. And if, you re if we were to reduce the number of calls by 75%, we would save $270,000 annually. Wow, that's quite a bit. Yes. Hmm. And so to facilitate this, uh, Dwelling Live training is coming beginning in April. In early April, the PC Club will begin conducting monthly training classes at the community center and the PC Education Center, and that's just down the hall from the studio. <laughs> and additionally, De Debbie Dotson, host of TV6's Let's Talk Tech, will provide recording training available on the Village YouTube channel. So please watch for dates and times in the weekly What's Up in the Village for this monthly training. Fantastic. And uh, Debbie's always great about letting us know about all different things that are technical. And then, of course, the What's Up in the Village is usually emailed to you on Fridays every week. And we appreciate the partnership with the PC Club. Absolutely. Another way to save costs is to automate payments. 25% or about 3,000 of our members pay monthly assessments by check. If all monthly mm -hmm. assessments are automated, the annual cost savings would be more than $57,000. Mm-hmm. 
And one may ask, how to automate payments? And you can visit the financial services page at lagunawoodsvillage.com for easy pay enrollment information. Excellent, excellent. And the easy pay usually is just something that you can designate sometimes as an automatic payment if it's the same every month, Correct. or you can literally go in and, and make that payment online. Great. So just to summarize the possible savings this morning, we've identified more than $400,000 worth of possible savings if residents were to help in the ways we outlined this morning. And a savings of that magnitude equates to an annual savings of up to $33 per manor. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. But you know, I mean, of course we realize that there are people who still, maybe they don't use email when they just really just use the phone. And that, of course, is understandable. But if you have that option, why not? And some people say, well, I just get too many emails. Yes, but this is a very important one because this email is going to save everybody money. <laughs> exactly, and that's the purpose of the yeah. training. If someone's uncertain or unfamiliar, it's that's a great, great way to learn how to use these tools. Perfect, and of course, when we find out more about those trainings, we will make sure that you guys know when they are and where they are. So, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a lot of information, and uh, hopefully everyone are able to uh, check that out. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Of course, if you want more information and you would have any questions, you can always send an email to generalmanager at vmsinc.org and it will go to the appropriate person. And if you want information about the easy pay, you can go to lagunawoodsvillage.com, go under financial services and learn how to use that. We'll be right back.